Got a quick story for you while I drive. Last night I was out placing cells on some splits I made. It's about 7.30 last night, it's in the dark. And I had two yards to do. So I'd done one yard, headed to the next yard. I've got my smoker going and it's only three and a half miles between yards. So quite often when I'm driving that short distance, I don't put my smoker out. I just stand it up in the bed of my truck with, you know, last night it was between rungs of my ladder so it wouldn't fall over. But I still drive careful because it can rock over or, or you know, careful where I put it because if too much air blows through it, it can blow sparks on stuff. I got plastic things in the bed of my truck. So I'm kind of easing down the road, 35 mile an hour roads anyway, easing down the road, make a couple turns. I'm coming up to a stop sign after about an eighth of a mile stretch and then I hadn't seen any cars on the road. So I'm coming up to the stop sign at a three-way stop and I hear blah, 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 blah. I hear a motorcycle coming up on a rev limiter. So that's a lot of times that's their horn. It's uh it's a lot louder than their horn, so they just rev their bike. And uh I smoke had been boiling out the back of my truck. So people sometimes when I do that, it doesn't happen a lot, but sometimes when I do that, people will want to stop me and say, Hey your truck's on fire or something in the bed of your truck's on fire. So I knew I knew where this was going. I knew this guy's trying to get my attention to let me know my truck's on fire. Three-way stop. I stop at the stop sign and then I just pull off, pull off the side of the road because I'm making a turn and it's a real wide shoulder. Pull off to the side, roll my window down and wait for him to pull up next to me. And he doesn't stop. He just kind of slow rolls past me and goes, <coughs> thank you, and takes off. So, so I've been choking him out for an, at least an eighth of a mile probably. But he's, it's on, he's on a real nice bike. No helmet, which is illegal in Mississippi to my knowledge uh tennis shoes shorts and a t-shirt <laughs> i'm like and he's blasting i mean when he takes off he's gone and he's, he's on it so uh the, the road goes down up over a pretty good hill and you know and within a half mile i couldn't see him anymore because he's blasting i'm driving slow like i am now i'm only doing 35 and uh he he gets way up ahead of me and I crest that hill and in the distance, about another half a mile, I can see two cars in the opposite lanes facing me because there's a, there's a turn lane going into a neighborhood there coming back towards me. So there's one in the turn lane, one in the, in the opposite travel lane. Both of them stopped in the road and then there's a car in my lane stopped in the road. All of them at the entrance to this neighborhood. And I was like, ooh, this doesn't look good. He hadn't had time to get past those cars, I don't think. So I pull up there slowly, kind of trying to figure the scene out because I couldn't see him anywhere. And I, when I get close enough, I can see in the headlights of the car facing me in, in the opposite lane, I can see a, a bike stand up. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh no. And so he stands the bike up, puts it on a kickstand. And by the time I get up there, I get up there just in time to see him picking up his tennis shoes. <laughs> Whatever he did, he knocked his shoes off. And probably is skint from head to toe, but I don't know. I didn't really get, didn't get a good look at him. I, did, I pulled up and rolled my window down, and I heard somebody holler, "Are you okay?" And he says, "I'm okay." He's he just mad, just holler, "I'm okay." And somebody else says, "Are you sure?" He says, "I'm positive." <laughs> he gets back on his little, little bike. I say little bike. It was a decent sized street bike. Now I don't want to crank. It finally fires up, blah, 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 blah. It runs real rough. He clears it up, blah, blah, blah. And he's, keep in mind, he's head, he was headed opposite direction. He's headed the same direction I am. He's just embarrassed. He's just trying to get out of there because he's embarrassed. He fires it up and he takes off up into this neighborhood, which I know he wasn't going to. That's, he wasn't, that was not his destination, his intended destination. I almost came to my senses in time, but I was like, oh, I got to record some of this because this is going to be a good story. So I get my phone out, hit record, and the flashlight comes on on my phone. I'm like, ah, oh, that's just going to be no good. So I just caught just a real quick glimpse of him. So that was the events of last night, and I went on and place sales in the next yard went home rest of the night was fairly uneventful <laughs>